Hey folks, welcome to I Am Leslie Jones. The Central Region Lands Commission returned my indentures. You guys get ready for some more nonsense that I have to go through. You saw me give my indentures to the lands, the lands commission representative from Central Region. She looked through it, told me what I was missing, but when she took it back to her office, she delved even deeper and found out that my indentures, they are not registerable. Honestly, it's no difference than me writing indenture on a napkin and giving it to her. That's how useless it is. So on the outside, I'm calm and collected, but on the inside... So, what's wrong with the indentures, you ask? Let's hear it from the representative's mouth herself. Fiki's document is not completely registered, mm -hmm. registered mm -hmm. so you cannot register your land. Right. So now the developer, the developer, tell the developer that Vicky's doc, you, you wanted to register your document, but you realize that Vicky's document is not fully registered. Mm -hmm. So is there a way he can help Vicky to finish your registra her registration so that yours can go through? Mm -hmm. Without her own going through, you cannot register. You need to push them to finish everything. When they finish everything, when you put in your application, you get to your document yeah. registered. Okay. So with all that said, even though the land legally is in Vicky's name, since she has not fully registered, she does not have the power to sign the land over to me. So when the Lands Commission told me, she said, do not be fooled just because you have an indenture doesn't mean you can register to get a land certificate. <laughs> I mean, we're sold. We're sold like once you get indentured, yeah, it's yours, your land is yours. No, once you get a registerable indenture, then you can start some, you can start the process. What? <laughs> yeah. I took my useless indentures and guess who I called? The developer. Set a meeting up with him because it's time to talk. Because I paid in full. And that payment in full should come with a registerable indenture. Period. So we met. I showed him the video. Oh, I showed him the recording of uh, what the land commission representative said in Central Region. And he offered me two options. Either I can move my plot one um, plot over, cause there's like 93 plots left. So she, he was like, you can just move over one where I know my name is on it and we can just do the, do the indenture and like we were supposed to do initially. Or he said, I can just help them press through the registration, but we just don't know how long it will take. So at first I was like, just give me the plot next to it so we can just move on. Cause it's still beachfront. Um, but you know, I was like, let's see how long it will take. So he, uh, found out what he needs to do. And then other drama popped up. You guys, I can't even make this up. Okay, folks, this is when it starts to get stupidly out of hand. The developer goes to Central Region's Lands Commission. To help you know Vicky register and get things moving along so she shows them the site plan mind you they so we take their work to them and say we want to register this in this individual's name oh that's that's faulty something's wrong with that you did it central region 
So we show them the site plan and then they show them the land search. Like it says on here that Vicky's name is on the plots we're trying to give to Leslie. They're like, oh yeah, the site plans are correct. It's our database that is wrong. So you need to tell me your site plan department and your lands commission search department do not intertwine? Is that what you're telling me? So guys, they are redoing the lands commission search. And if the lands commission search comes back with the developer's name, we have to create new indentures and the agreement will be between me and the developer instead of me and Vicky. This is insane. This is totally, this is all data entry errors. So I asked her, how could this happen? How is it possible that a land, official land search can be incorrect? She said it can be a technical issue with the technical officers writing something incorrect or a typographical error. <sighs> this is all in data entry issues, guys. Mind you, I stayed there for almost three months. And now we're back, literally back to September. I was there August. We started all this beginning of September. We went through all the issues as you guys saw. Whoever's been watching me this whole time, you guys know what I've been through. And now they're telling me we're literally going back to September, starting at the Lands Commission search once again, so they can update their system so all the site plans can match. <sighs> you know, I just told myself, why am I going through this? Why? And only two reasons popped in my head. One, to make my YouTube channel super dramatic so I can get a thousand subscribers by December 31st, 2021. I was like, no, that's not the reason. Secondly, I thought, oh my gosh, this is for you guys. Because a fraction of you guys are literally going to become my neighbors, literally. Or you guys are gonna take this advice that I'm sharing and go buy land in Ghana yourself through your own, you know, networking group. So the people that are potentially my neighbors, we gotta clear all this out. So you guys can come over here and just flow through the system as simply as possible. And so it's okay that I'm getting beat up, right? Because there's a greater cause. We're, we're coming back to the motherland. We're gonna set up our generations for a very long time through land ownership. So the vision is bigger than me. The vision is for all of us and our generations, guys. So I'll keep you updated. But once I find out the results from the land search, I'll let you guys know Hopefully this is the last thing I'm going to go through. <laughs> Stay blessed. Thank you so much for watching. We are at 888 subscribers. The goal is 1,000 by December 31st, 2021. Thank you guys so much. I think we have that in the bag. What do you think? <laughs>